Okay, dear student, let's move to the next question now. The star del well A is a main sequence star that has a black body spectrum as shown. Okay, so this is the black body spectrum. Uh, basically, we are going to apply the Wien's displacement law here, which is the lambda max into T is equal to the Wien's constant B, where B value is written as 2.9 into 10 raised to power negative 3 meter Kelvin. So we would be using this formula show that the surface temperature is 9000 so definitely like uh, i have already written the formula here so you can just find the peak wavelength here so the peak wavelength is kind of like the midpoint here something here so 0 0.3 0 0.4 so this is 0 0.3 4 6 8 yeah 0 0.3 to 0 0.31 so it should be 0 0.31 into 10 raised to power negative 6 meter now that is the maximum wavelength so basically try to understand students this in this Wien's displacement law we write it like lambda max it's a misnomer it's not the maximum wavelength all the wavelengths are available even like these wavelengths are bigger than these wavelengths okay so it's not the maximum wavelength that we are talk targeting here it is the wavelength for which the intensity is maximum in our spectrum. This is the relative intensity. So the relative intensity is maximum for this particular wavelength. That is why we are just calling it as lambda max, but it is not maximum wavelength. Be very careful about it. It's very big confusion to student. It is a misnomer. So anyways, this is the wavelength, which is like having the maximum intensity. This is the wavelength. We will find the frequency from that. And that is going to define you like what color is it. Is it like the star is looking blue, yellow, red? What color is that star? So that can be found from this wavelength. Color is the function of the frequency, not the wavelength. Be very careful, okay? So um, we're going to plug in this value here and we are going to find the value of the temperature. So the temperature value will be 2.9, 10 raised to power negative three divided by 0 0.31 into 10 to the power negative six kind of like very approximate like 29 is kind of approximated to be 30 and 31 can also be approximated to be 30 we can just remove the decimals by taking 10 in the denominator and 100 in the numerator and these two values can be cancelled with each other approximately so this and this can be cancelled so it will become thousand in the numerator so this is literally coming out to be 10 raised to power 4 Kelvin, which is very near to 9000. So when you would be using the calculator, yes, you would be getting this value 29 by 31. I just removed it. But 29 by 31 is going to give you a value of 0 0.9. Yes, 0 0.9 into 10 raised to power 4. So if you want to find the exact value, it is this, which is literally 9000 Kelvin. So this is the calculation that you have to do. So whenever somebody tells you that this is the black body spectrum, you have to use this formula. That is the biggest hint. In this topic of stars related with the radiations or astrophysics, I tell you there are only two formulas that you have to consider. One is the formula written on your screen, which is Wien's displacement law. And the second one is Stephen Boltzmann law and that we would be definitely going to do in the very next question now. Let's see. So this is done. Now the temperature is 9000 Kelvin, we know. Apparent brightness of the star is 2.2 10 raised to power negative 9. So the apparent brightness is given and it is this much kilometers away from the earth. So D is also given. Estimate the radius of the star. So you have to find the radius of the star. Okay. So we don't have the luminosity here. So it means that we would be finding luminosity with the help of uh, this. So I was still talking about the Stephen Boltzmann law. Now listen to it. So Stephen Boltzmann law is P E sigma A T raised to power 4. In the case of astrophysics, this P is written as luminosity. We don't, we don't call it P, power any, uh, anymore. We call it luminosity. For the astronomical bodies, the emissivity value is taken to be 1 because every body is considered black body. So we are not writing E. Sigma is the Stephen Boltzmann constant. The value is known to us. The area is the surface area of the star, which will be having the expression for the radius of the star. This is 4 pi r square where r is the radius of the star that is what we want to find and the temperature raised to power 4 the temperature is the surface temperature of the star so we know the surface temperature of the star it is taken to be 9000 kelvin 
and from this value we are supposed to find the value of r but where is the luminosity we don't know it now let us come to the brightness so there is something which was defined as intensity earlier in the topic of greenhouse effect b3 when we were learning about the solar constant we defined this intensity intensity is defined as p by a but this a is not this a this a in this stephen boltzmann equation is the surface area of the star but now when we are going to find the intensity it is the surface area of the surface on which the complete energy is distributed like for example this is the star that we're talking about so the radius of the star is just this so the a value that we are having here it is just here but let's say this is the earth this distance is d so i am talking about this surface area the surface area on which the complete energy is distributed that is a very big surface area so this area will be written as 4 pi d square i hope i'm very clear now this is the intensity of the light which is able to reach the earth and this is known as apparent brightness like the sun that like that star could be having more power than sun its luminosity could be much more powerful than sun but even then our sun is much more brighter than this why because sun is very near to me but this star is very far away so the brightness of that star has reduced so this is the formula that we use as brightness now we call it intensity we can call the same thing as solar constant in the case of sun and earth with the value of 1360 watt per meter square it is exactly the same thing but in the case of stars and other astronomical bodies we use the term apparent brightness they all are the same now the apparent brightness is given which is 2.2 .2 into 10 raised to power negative 9 watt per meter square this is the brightness this is equal to the power of this which is the luminosity we don't know it we have to find it 4 pi and d is given as 6.2 into 10 raised to power 14 kilometers so 10 raised to power 3 has also to be used here because we would be using only meters so this is uh, the d and then there is a square on it this we have to calculate and this will give you the value of the luminosity again it will be a very cumbersome uh, calculation but we have to do it so i am not doing it now so this is the luminosity so you can do it by yourself so we find this luminosity and we plug this value here and we are going to find the value of r we can do one more thing instead of finding this calculation now let us substitute this value here just like that so l value will be into 4 pi 6.2 10 raised to power 14 10 raised to power 3 square that is the luminosity that is equal to 5.67 10 raised to power negative 8 the stephen boltzmann constant into 4 pi r square is the variable and the temperature will be taken as 9000 kelvin raised to power 4 this is the calculation so we can just get rid of 4 pi and 4 pi here and yeah that's it so i'm not doing it anymore so you can you can do the calculation by yourself hopefully you would be getting the correct answer the radius value will be there okay so after this moving next now the radius of the sun is this now the radius of the sun is given and the radius of the planet you have already found sketch on the hr diagram the position of the star so the position of the star so we need not need to find the radius by the way so that i have just skipped it so we have to see the mark scheme for the radius but anyways the temperature will be 9000 so this is 10000 this is 4 5000 so it is going to reduce in the positive x direction so we can say 6 7 8 somewhere here will be the 9 so we're going to create a vertical line here and the star is going to be on this vertical line but we have to find the radius first of all so until we know the radius we cannot say here here or here so once we know what is the radius of the star we're going to divide that value with the radius of the sun the value is given there in the question we will find a number so that number will be one or two or three like 10 or 0 0.1 accordingly we will find 
what factor is it and we can say the star will be lying here the star will be lying here so where the star is we have to see according to the radius the temperature will be 9000 so this is going to be the vertical line on which the star is going to lie this is how we are going to do this uh, thing let us now see the mark scheme and i would be explaining each and everything once again there so we're going to page number 88 yes here okay so point number one correct substitution of this and it is literally coming out to be 9000 kelvin so yes it is correct so this is the attempted use of this formula they have not given you the complete uh, derivation or the calculation like what the calculation that are involved here but this is how we are going to do i know that is the only method and we would be finding the value of r which is coming out to be 1.4 gigameters now this we are going to find the ratio by dividing the radius of the sun and they are finding it to be two so the radius of this star is double the radius of the sun accordingly on this uh, hr diagram i told you that we would be uh, creating the vertical line here which is nearly nearly 9000 kelvin and the radius is nearly double so this line is for um, zero this line is for one so the radius is nearly double so it will be a little bit above this line because at this point it will become 10 times so this is the region where the star should belong to so this is how we are going to attempt this question, dear students. So if there is any doubt, you can ask in the comment section. This is Professor Varun. Thanks for watching. All the best for your exam.